Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file and they can't get it to text a path on this cursive. I don't have this text. Mine came up with this, which is the exact same font. This is rough. This is script, thirsty script. This is thirsty rough. So I don't know what the difference is, but we'll just try theirs or the way it popped up anyway. Uh, either one of them should work. So with the text selected, go to text path. And they were saying if they weld it together, then they can't do it. So we'll put it on our path. That red line tells us it is. But if you look to see what it did, it broke the S apart. So this is pretty easy to fix. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the text and left click, no fill, right click outline. And I don't know once we fix it, if we'll be able to change it. And this is a really rough font. Uh, so we're going to click on the font. We're going to go to object. We're going to break the text apart. We're going to go click on it again, go to object and break the, it apart again. And then we're going to go up to object and we're going to, well, break it apart again. And now we've got individual letters. And what we can do is just take this text and just move it over where it's about right. Take our uh, virtual segment delete key. And because it's a text, we can't do it. So let's change it all to a curve now. Let's we'll select it all. Go up to object and convert it to a curve and then we can take away those lines. And this should work with the exception of these dots. And there's a lot of broken lines so just go like go through here and here and just make these text join. And I know it's a little bit of a hassle, but uh, I don't know any other way to do it. I'm afraid that I won't, if that's the text they want, I don't know that we're going to be able to get those dots back. Well, it's just, uh, we'll just see, just swipe through there, swipe through there. There might be the other S on the other side. We might have to do the same thing to the common letters the same. So you can see the S here is the same way. And just click off that and grab that. So we're going to have to break the curve apart. So we just have that one letter and just grab it and just kind of move it to there and try to keep it on line with the other thing is about right smart fill these in or not smart fill delete those two aren't really touching so we don't have to do anything and we'll just see if they work the font i have is a lot clearer um, and a lot sharper so we're going to go to object and break the curve apart again and just move this to there and kind of watch this line and this line it's about the same I don't think when we fill this in, we're not going to be able to do it, uh, make it look right. So now let's uh, click on our line. Maybe it'll just, now that we've broken it apart, maybe it'll take away our line, and it did. Let's move that down. And let's try just right-clicking, and you can see all the, the weirdness of the font. So you can, you're going to have to smart fill every letter, but it shouldn't be a problem, but I don't think we're going to get those, well, a little bit of those dark lines. Let's back up here and pick a black. I don't know if they even want those uh, dots. And if they're going to laser engrave it, I don't think that's, they're going to show up. They're so little because uh, the laser is going to burn it up. So I would maybe pick another but you can see at least my, our letters now are um, working. And we got the text to path. I think if you get this font, it'll be a lot easier. Let's move this out of the way for a second. I didn't grab it all. Let's go ahead and control G and group it together. And let's put it pretty far out of the way and take this and we'll use the same path. Move that up a little bit. Doesn't really matter. 
and then click on your font, text, fit text to path. And you know, like always, when you get that red line, it's in the center of the path. But it did the exact same thing as the other font, but you can see how much cleaner it is and we don't have those dots. So let's just do the same thing. I don't really need to do it, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Let's select it all, go up to object. Let's try to convert it to a curve this time and then go up to object and break the curve apart. Nope, can't do that because we have to break the text apart first. Go up to object, let's select it all again. A lot of times if something doesn't show up, break the text apart. Break the words apart. And now let's break the letters apart by doing it the third time. Now we just convert it to a curve. See if that's going to be sufficient. Zoom in here. Break the curve apart now. We'll probably have to... A lot of times if you don't have anything show up, um... Make sure you uh, select everything. Go to object. Well, break individual, but that ain't gonna. That's not gonna work unless we try this first. If we left click, right click, and then break the tech, then break it apart. So we're gonna have to do individual words. That way it doesn't fill it in. We're still going to fill it in with a smart fill. But this is a lot cleaner text, and it's going to look a little better. And just bring that one to there. Uh, take the virtual segment delete key. And I'm not going to do the whole font, but it's the same. Pro I would, I'll do this one word, but it's the same process. And you really don't have to do this part on this clean of a font. Uh, but since we're going to use the smart fill tool, we want them to look like they're joining. Whoop, went too far. Trying to do it without zooming in. A couple more letters and we'll be done with this. And all I'm doing is breaking it apart or uh, so the smart fill tool can get in there. Uh, that way when you fill in one letter, they'll all be filled in. Now, with this particular case of smart fill tool, is not going to work with that line down there, so we need to move that line down. And then just take your smart fill tool and fill that in, and then fill in your deal. And you have a lot cleaner looking font on that on that path. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.